I was looking for a sort of homeland, for somewhere where I could function in a way where I would feel freer. People who didn't read much or may not have known about Isherwood as an author, Cabaret put him on the map for the world at large. When he abandoned England, he also abandoned the structures and styles of traditional novel writing. This is the beach where I met Chris uh, when I was uh, probably 16. Well, I mean, the idea of this middle-aged man deflowering this young boy, it was exactly what the boy wanted, and he flourished. When Don and Chris first met, his close friend Evelyn Hooker, a psychologist studying the gay community, said that it couldn't go on. Big name people were friends of Isherwood, Tennessee Williams, Truman Capote, Igor Stravinsky. What would it feel like to be sitting down to dinner with Somerset Mom when you haven't developed who you are yet? Chris and Don were never apologetic about being a couple. They would go to Hollywood parties when closeted people were surrounding them. A homophobe, so he was a distinguished writer. But who was I? Don as a man was entirely formed by Chris. Isherwood had succeeded in cloning himself. Their mannerisms, their speech patterns were so similar. I couldn't help it. I'm an unconscious impersonator. I wanted people to like me for who I really was, but I wasn't sure myself who I was. The only thing that I knew I was good at was drawing people, and Chris realized that I had a flair for it. This was my identity as an artist. When you're doubtful about yourself and trying to be confident, to have somebody give you that kind of support is golden. Don felt a huge obligation to Isherwood that he'd been given so much. And, you know, freedom is just not necessarily being given everything. Freedom is something you need to get for yourself. He would have been cheering me on. He would say, yes, that's what an artist would do. And that's what an artist did do.